Namaste and welcome to Mind Yoga. My name is uh, Ryan. If you are joining me for the first time, a warm welcome. And if you have practiced with me before, welcome back. Today's practice is a vinyasa flow practice where the focus is on strengthening and toning. We also move a little bit quicker for parts of the practice to get the heart rate up a little bit to get more uh, cardio impact from our, from our yoga practice as well. Um, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'll be grateful for your subscription. I usually post two videos per week, once a flow practice and once a yin practice. Um, and I've got a big library of videos now, over 150 videos on my channel that you can practice to and your support gives you the motivation to continue doing what I am doing and upload free content on a weekly basis. Um, so let's get started. We'll start today in Charles Pose with a rest, restful start before we really dive into the practice. So coming into a, a Charles Pose, bring the big toes to touch. Now depending on your flexibility, how open you feel, your knees can be as wide as a man, they can be slightly narrow, it's not up to you. And then bringing the forehead to the elbow. And then just a gentle body scan, noticing how the body is feeling. And now gently guiding attention to our breath. When we initially become aware of our breath, we're not trying to change anything, letting the breath as it is. And then taking three deep, slow breaths. So letting the belly falls towards the earth with every inhale. The brushes against the inner thigh. Now we need to activate the child's four sabhavasana today. So coming into the tips of your fingers. And hollowing out under the armpits and under the palms. One more breath here. Now lift your head up, look at the space between your thumbs and walk both hands to the left hand side and then place the palms on the back. Maybe right palm on top of the left. And then slowly coming up, come onto your fingertips again like we did earlier and walk the palms to the right hand side. Place the palms on the mat, on the mat or the floor, depending on where you end up, return the forehead to the mat. Maybe the left palm on top of the right. Coming back to center. And then from here, Slowly come up, bring the knees close to each other, so the knees are together, and then we just going to roll forward, sliding forward, coming onto our belly, and then come onto our sphinx pose here. So different unusual way of doing sphinx pose, keep both the legs together, you'll understand why in a set. And then from here, place the forehead onto the mat, bring the hands by your side, palm on the floor. Yeah, from here, bend the left knee, grab hold of the left foot with the left hand and maybe you can take your right hand and wrap it on top of your left foot and then pull that left heel toward the left glute and then maybe looking up and draw the shoulder blades towards each other. One more breath here and then slowly come back down. And return the left leg to the back. Bend the right knee now. And then from here, right hand on the right foot. 
maybe the left hand wraps around the left foot, right foot, on top of your right hand. Now from here lift the head and then shoulder blades squeeze towards each other. So if my body parts get mixed up, I apologize in advance. I actually got a class at 6 a.m. this morning in a local studio in Melbourne, Australia. Letting it go and then slowly go back down. From here, bring your feet at hip width. Tuck your toes. And now, come back into sphinx pose with your toes stuck, yeah? So the elbows are below the shoulders. From here, you can keep your knees on the mat if you want to. We're going to go into forearm plank. So what we're going to do is lift the hips slightly off the mat. So begin to fire up the core. Begin to wake up the core. So as I was teaching this class, I pointed to my right thumb and said, grab your right toe. And then I realized it's actually a thumb, not a toe. It's weird. I got my body part mixed a couple of times. One more breath here. Okay. And then from here, return back down. I tuck the toes. Place the forehead on the back. And then roll over onto your back. You're coming to lie down on your back. So you're going to go into bridge pose. But one legged bridge pose. So bend the right knee. Return the right foot to the mat. If you can brush the back of your right heel, your fingertips. Hands by your side. And then from here, press it to the right heel and the palm. And then lift the left leg to the sky on the inhale. On the exhale, return back down. Inhale, push again, lift. Exhale, return back down. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Let's walk over. Right leg forward. Left foot to the air. So press into the left palm. Let's see again. Press into the left heel and both parts. I'm making body parts again. And then slowly lift the right leg towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, come back down. Take. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower. One last time. Inhale. This time, really lower, lower it slowly with control. One vertebra at a time. Fantastic. And then we're going to roll over back onto our belly. And then come into all pose. Fantastic. Wrist below the shoulders and knees below the hips. From here, Piran for cat down. Inhale, belly clones. Exhale, round the upper. Inhale, shine your heart open. Exhale, push the back away, chin to chest. Inhale, tailbone rises. Exhale, tailbone descends. One last round. Maybe even close your eyes if it feels really good this time around. And then come into all pose. From here, take, bring awareness to your hands. Walk your hands one palm length forward. And then tuck your toe. We're going to transition to down dog. And today in down dog, just as you arrive in down dog, bending your knees slightly, lifting the heels off the mat, pushing the chest towards the thighs. Take here for an inhale. On the exhale, straighten the knees. Maybe the heels will come onto the mat. A lot of us, our hamstrings are tight. The heels don't touch the mat. That's fine. Inhale, bend the knees again. Exhale, lengthen. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, lengthen. Fantastic. From here, left leg to the sky on the inhale. On the exhale, step it through between your hands. Right foot steps forward to meet the left foot. Forward four. Inhale, half the lift. Exhale, fall forward. Rise up, reach up, hands to the sky. Hands to heart center, we come all the way down. Inhale, half it. Exhale, fall forward. Now step back to high plank. From here, chaturanga, low plank. And then we flow up dog, cobra. And we don't need down dog. So if you don't want to do upward facing dog, you can always replace it with cobra. There's many ways to do your vinyasa. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it through between your hands. Left foot step forward to meet the right foot, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Hands go to the sky, palm touch. Exhale, hand to heart lift. And they come all the way down. Half lift. Fold forward. Step back to high plank, please. And then we flow from here. 
Hi to Lopla, Cobra or Abdo, Mumit in Dhamma. Very nice. So let's go to our floor now. Walk your feet all the way to your hands. Now feet can be hit with a big toes touch, heels slightly apart. We sit in chair pose, keeping the inner thighs towards each other, letting the tailbone descend towards the end. One more breath here. From here, ground down to your right foot. Lift the left leg with you. So the left knee comes close to the chair. The knee is in line with the hip. Top pose. Gate to your head. One more breath here. We're going to transition to standing split. So take your left leg, pendulum swing it back. Hand come to the earth. Let the head hang here. Square the hips. Let the left foot point towards the floor. One more breath here. Return the left foot to the mat. Straighten the knees. Both legs straighten. Come into pyramid pose. Now the pyramid your fingertips on the mat. Maybe the palms will go all the way down. Experiment with the width between your leg. One more breath here. Now bend the right knee until it's above the right ankle. And then we will rise up into high lunge. Look straight ahead. Now when we rise up in high lunge, you want to bring attention to our back knee. Straighten it as much as you can. And then draw the core in here. Draw the lower belly in. And the hand go towards the sky. One more breath here. Close twist. Left hand forward. Right hand back. Look to the right hand side. Put the fingers wide in your palm. Make sure the hands are working hard. Stay here for one more breath. From here, we're going to transition to arrowhead pose. So if nothing changes to the leg, hands sweep towards the back. Draw the lower belly away from the inner thigh and our forehead is above the toe or slightly past the toes. Squeeze the shoulder blade towards the shoulder. One more breath here. And then opening up into warrior two. So take your left foot, turn it at 90 degrees. Hands will go in opposite directions into Virabhadra and two. Right knee, if you notice, continue to stay above the right ankle. Draw the lower belly in. Gaze straight ahead. One more breath here. With the palm, reverse the warrior. And then from here, all toes face the front. Let the hands spread the right foot. We're going to step back to high plank. And then we're going to flow from here. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Great work. Amazing yogi. Good job. From here, on the inhale, left leg goes towards the sky. On the exhale, step it through between your hands. Step the right foot forward to meet the left foot. And then turn to the chair pose. So again, you choose whether you like your feet at hip width or whether you like your big toes touching heels like their part. Let the biceps spread the ear or wherever the hands feel comfortable. One more breath here. And then come to rise into stroke pose. So this pose kind of reminds me of the Karate Kid movie. I don't know if you watched it. Then. I feel the strength of Karate Kid as well. And then from here we are going straight away into standing straight. So keep the right leg back. Hands come down to the air. Standing straight. The toes point to the ear. Square the hip. Don't worry about the height of the leg. Wherever the leg is up. One more breath. Return the right foot to the back of the mat. Trade in both knees. Pyramid pose. Parkour Kanata. Fingertips on the mat. Maybe your floors reach. Sorry, floor seat again. I'm confusing body parts. Palms on the floor. On the mat. One more breath here. Return the left knee above the left ankle. Look straight ahead. And then begin to rise in high lunge. And again, bring attention to your back knee. Can you straighten that a little bit more? Just for the strengthening of our leg. One more breath here. 
and let's go into close twist right hand forward left hand back imagine your hand coming pulled in opposite direction so creating that tension in the arms one more breath here and then from here we will your arms transition to arrowhead so nothing's changing here with our legs all we're doing is changing the upper body and again bring your forehead above the toes palms will face the floor draw the lower belly away from the inner thigh hold here for one more breath and then open up into warrior two so the right foot is at 90 degrees gaze straight ahead look with determination and purpose with focus straight ahead one more breath here on the inhale, pick the palm, reverse the warrior, painting the ceiling. On the exhale, bring the your hands down, frame the left foot, all toes are facing the front now. Step back to high plank, please. And then we flow. So remember I said the beginning of the practice will move a little bit faster. Alright, let's pass it up, up uh, flow a little bit. On the inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step the foot through. Step the left foot forward to meet the right foot. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, fold forward. Transition to chair pose. From here, rise up. Bring the left knee into the chair. Stroke pose. Keep the leg back. Come into standing splits. Hand come down. Step the left foot back. Straighten both knees. Pyramid pose. Bend the right knee, bring it above the right ankle. Rise up, high lunge. Close twist, left hand forward, right hand back. And then from here, arrow head pose. Open up, warrior two. Inhale, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Exhale, bring the hands down. Go back to right hand, please. And then we float. Left leg goes towards the sky on the inhale. On the exhale, step it through. Inhale, right foot steps forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, fold forward. Chair pose. Hips descend, but tailbone descends towards the floor. Begin to rise. Bring the right knee up. Stroke forward. Keep the right leg back. Come into standing splits. Return the right foot back, straighten both knees. My heart is going up, I'm feeling it. Hope you are too. Bend the right knee. Rise up. High lunge. Close twist. Right hand forward, left hand back. Arrow head. And then warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Hands come down, step back to high plank, slow. And come down into child's pose, big toes touch, knees can be as one as a man. Two more breaths here. One more. Come and meet me in down dog again. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it through between your hands. Now we're going to turn the back foot at 45 degrees, bring it in slightly. And then begin to rise up into warrior one. Right knee above the right ankle. Now take your left hip, rotate it forward. Squaring both hips towards the front. One more breath here. Interlace the hands behind your lower back. Right thumb on top of the left. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. Right shoulder on the inside of the right knee. One more breath here. And then from here, going to half moon. 
let the hands go right hand comes down left hand to the sky left leg flies look down to the earth or to the left hand side one more breath here return the left foot next to the right forward pole from here come to rise come to stand and we're going to bring the hands to heart center right foot on the inside of the left hand below or above the knee going to three poles draw the shoulders away from the ear look at one foot eyes on the floor or straight ahead one more breath here bring the right knee onto the chest and the inhale on the exhale step the foot back hands come down step back to high plank and then we're going to flow from here inhale left leg to the sky on the exhale step it through and then right foot at 45 degrees rise up into warrior one take your right hip rotate it forward squaring the hips as much as the body allows you to interlace the hands left thumb on top of the right inhale squeeze the shoulder blades exhale bow forward humble warrior left shoulder inside the left knee gaze towards the big toe of the back foot or down on the floor one more breath here let the hands go left fingertips ahead of the left foot right leg flies half pull ardha chandra it was your gaze to the side or down on the floor and then slowly we turn the right foot next to the left going to forward pull hands to heart center from to right Bring the left foot on the inside of the right knee to three pulls. One more breath here. Draw the shoulders away from the ear. On the inhale, left knee into the chest. On the exhale, step the foot back. Bring your hands down and then step back to high plank. And then go through your floor. And then remember, we say we're going to move fast for parts of the practice. So, time to pick up the pace a little bit. On the inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step the foot through. Inhale, turn the left foot at forty-five degrees. Exhale, right up, warrior one. Inhale, interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. Inhale, right hand comes down. Exhale, left leg flies, half moon. Inhale, place the left foot next to the right, and exhale, forward fold. Hands to heart center. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, right foot on the inside of the left leg. Inhale, bring the right knee to the chest. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, turn the right foot at forty-five degrees. Exhale, rise up. Hands to the sky. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. Inhale, left fingertips down. Exhale, right leg flat. Inhale, turn the right foot next to the left. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, left foot on the inside of the right leg. Inhale, knee to the chest. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Well done. Amazing. From here, inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, pigeon pose. Right knee behind the right wrist. Untuck the left toes. You're welcome to stay upright. Want to go all the way down? And stay here for five breaths.
slowly coming back down, coming back up, sorry. Tap your toes, turn this into down dog, please. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, pigeon pose this time. Left knee behind the left fist. From here, untap the right toes. Stay upright or go all the way down. Steady here for five breaths. And then slowly coming back up. And from here, transitioning to down dog. Coming forward into high plank, transition to all fours. From here, cross your ankles and then slowly shift your hips back. And then come to sit forward. So I'll face you from this part of the practice. So, Janu Shishtasan, bring your right foot on the inside of the left leg. On the inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. So, hands may end up either side of the leg or wrap around the outer edge of the feet of the right foot. Slowly come to rise. Left swap over, right leg long, left foot on the inside of the right leg. Inhale, hands to the sky, exhale, fold forward. Again, wherever the hands go. So you want to make sure the toes are not away from us, they are either towards us or pointing to the sky. So we come up. Let's bring the soles of the foot to touch into Upavista Balakonathan or seated butterfly. The hands wrap around the feet. Maybe a few flaps and then let the knees settle in. The knees might be touching the floor, they might be like me halfway up, halfway down, the middle of nowhere. That's perfectly fine as well. Just listening to the body. I'm big about, I'm very big on uh, listening to your body doing yoga. And not every pose is accessible to everyone. That's what makes the journey very interesting. One more breath here. All right, extend your legs long and come to lie down on the mat. As you come to lie down, <clears throat> we're going to hug uh, right knee into the chest. And then with the left hand, guide the right knee to the left hand side. Right hand comes up. Gaze over the right shoulder or towards the ceiling. And then slowly come back up. Swap over. Left knee into the chest. And then the right hand will guide the left knee to the right hand side. Left hand comes up. Gaze over the left shoulder towards the ceiling. Coming back to center. And the left leg goes long. Let the feet find the corners of the mat. Hands come to rest from your side. Arms face the ceiling. Your final resting pose, Shabatan. I will wake you up when it's time.
making gentle movements with your fingers and your toes. As awareness returns to consciousness, rolling over to your favorite side. And then slowly coming up into a seat. Hands come together, palms touch, thumbs press against the stern. One soft inhale, one soft exhale. Bring your thumbs to your third eye center, to your lips and to your heart. The divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. Hopefully you got your heart rate up and going. Uh, wherever you are in the world today, have an amazing morning, awesome afternoon or a great evening. I will see you soon on the mat. Namaste.